How's it going, guys? How's it going, guys? Coming back at you again, guys, with another box break. All right, everybody, we're back again with another break. Coming back at you with a very quick break this time. Top Supreme Panini Gold Stand, Absolute Memorabilia, Tops Magic. This time, Panini Great Iron. How's it going, guys? Coming at back at you with another break. Panini Plates and Patches, 2011. Um, getting down to it. Only high-end breaks left, and this is, I think, their last um, high-end, real high-end uh, release before National Treasures, which is the the popular release among the real big hardcore breakers. Um, this one's one pack, uh, got five hits, three autographs, one memorabilia, and one other autograph or memorabilia. It's so a damn good looking box. There is the possibility of four autographs if you're lucky enough. Pack in a nice little, tone little sealed thing, thingy checklist there. Um, Plates and Patches were real popular last year. Uh, last year was the first year it came out. This year, they're hoping to repeat the magic. All right, well, we'll see. From what I've seen, this is really hard to get open. It, is it, it looks like it's leather. It's probably supposed to, though. Um, I think that might be the idea. Oh, lost, lost one in the lost bottom. Lost card in there. Probably should turn it upside down instead of there. All right. All right, let's go. Let's get this, let's get this party rolling. Let's see number one, Austin Pettis. Ricky Blitz from the Rams, 56-249. Uh, i got Rashad Jennings of the Jaguars. It's hard to read with the red. Really hard to read. Uh, is, is, 41 and a 2 Is the logo like in, in... It's embossed, yeah. Yeah, wow. That's, that's awesome. Um, Steven Jackson of the Rams. All right. 40, oh, that's the wrong card. 144-299. Uh, okay. Mercedes Lewis. Dropping everything. Yeah. Mercedes Lewis of the Jaguars. 45 out of 100. That's the one I saw. Then I noticed that it was the wrong player. Um, Brian Cushing, honors. And that's the first hit. 5 out of 249. Nice. Now, now the hits. Ooh. Jordan Todman, on card autograph patch. I wish that was another cam. Yeah. Um, Hell yeah. Especially with the patch. 13 out of 25. Patch auto cam. I think that's a plat the platinum version. The little the blue you can see, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very light blue, tealy color. 13 out of 25. Okay, got a redemption, redemption here. Put that to the side. Check that last. Uh, Daquan Bowers autograph. 147 out of 150. Got a Darren McFadden jersey, regular jersey, 244 out of 299. Just want to mention Hell that the, yeah. the placement of these numbers makes it really hard for me to check them. Uh, Heinz Ward honors jersey, number 23 of 99. It's pretty, oh, pretty low number. That's a, is that, yeah. That's, and Darren McFadden, three color patch. It looks a little uh, it's dirty too. Yeah, a little shredded. That's that's game, that is game worn. I can say that is definitely game worn. And you, according to you the definitely see that according to there. the card, it's the jersey number. So probably from the zero or the two. Um, that is twenty eight out of fifty. Hell yeah! And now the redemption. All right. RPS rookie signatures number two thirteen. Check what it is. RPS Rookie Signatures, 213, Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams? Running back for the Ra uh, not Ravens, Cardinals, I think. I, I, no I think the RPS Rookie Signatures might be the same as this Jordan Todman, in which case that would be awesome. But, okay, let's lay out the hits here. I think I got an extra hit. You think so? Yep. Oh, you did? For hell yeah! I'm going to do a little run through these really quickly. Obviously anytime you get an extra hit, you did pretty well. I mean, uh, I would love... Kind of goes without saying, yeah. I would have loved to have had a better player for my patch on card autograph than Jordan Todman. Uh, no offense to Mr. Todman's family, but uh, he doesn't really draw the same attention that an A.J. Green or even a J.J. Watt would. But other than that, extra hit, you always do well. Daquan Bowers is a top pick, so... Faux chisel. Faux chisel. There we go. Well, I don't, want to, I don't want to draw this out any more than needs to be, yeah. so uh, we'll, I think we did pretty damn well. Yeah, I mean, you... as far as upcoming releases, it's really, it's getting down there. It's getting down to the wire. Uh, Tops, the only thing Tops has left, uh, as far as I know, is Five Star, which I'm not going to get. Cause I guess, what would the next releases be? too expensive. Um, I think Panini Contenders is the next, and that comes out within a couple weeks, I think. Unless they push it back, they've been really bad with their releases, and it really all depends when I can get that, because Panini is really, really difficult to get right now because they have some weird regulations. I'm not going to explain it right now, but they're pissing some people off. All right, well, 
we'll figure it all out, and it'll be here eventually. When no I break worries. it, you'll know it. Folk shizzle. Anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and peace out and go do some awesome stuff. Subscribe and stuff. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and like and click stuff and uh, and watch videos because just it makes, click everything. Just click everything. Unless it's not ours. Just like close your close your eyes and like blindfold yourself and just click everywhere and just be like click click and then it peace.